So we are done with Monument Valley and finished with this small region of Utah and we are now headed towards Zion uh, but before we get there we're going to stop at uh, another BLM camp area and we're going to do the wire pass trail which requires a permit from rec.gov which we have already obtained so uh, we're going to have to find some place to camp for tonight we really don't know where we're going to do it I hope there's going to be some place close to this trailhead So we just went through Page and we're coming on Glen Canyon Dam. This dam is what created Lake Powell, which is the second largest man-made reservoir in the United States. And there's the visitor center pretty crowded <laughs> okay so we are on our way down House Rock Valley Road and it is a pretty rough road we're looking for the wire pass trailhead we've been on this road for several miles trying to go very slow there's supposed to be the trailhead up here and it's supposed to be a large parking lot. We've been passing a lot of vehicles. Hopefully we can stay the night somewhere down here. Here we are at this wire pass trailhead. Uh, we are in the Grand Staircase Escalante. It's a national monument. So here we are at the trailhead for wire pass trail. And it's been quite interesting. Um, I don't think that you're supposed to camp here overnight. Not 100% sure. We've, uh, we made friends with a, a BLM volunteer. Um, he gave us a beer and um, he's got a campsite a mile and a half from this trailhead on state line campground. The thing is that there's only eight spots there and it's first come first serve and we got there and um, they're all filled. So he was very gracious and said that we could share um, campsite number three with him, um, but we're going to take our chances here at the trailhead parking lot and hope that we don't get run off. Um, while we were at the state line campground talking to Jim, um, there was a fellow, Lucky Larry was his name. He's just finished the Arizona Trail. How how long was it, Fred? Like, About 500 miles, he said. It took him 34 days. It, super nice guy. He had just finished. So we provided him a little trail magic, gave him a cold beer, a couple of bananas, some granola bars, and some peanuts, and a, a full summer sausage that we had in our refrigerator. And he was so appreciative. That was just a, a thrill running into him. But the Wire Pass Trail, it's down this Rock House Road. It's 10 miles down Rock House Road. You saw a little bit of that, of us coming in. It's, it's pretty rough. But the trailhead is just across the street here. So if we can stay the night here, um, we can get up early in the morning and walk this trail. Wish us luck that we don't get run off by BLM or the sheriff sometime during the night. So at this trailhead, you can see it's a pretty large parking lot and they have a couple of really nice restroom houses. And this road is pretty heavily trafficked. Um, we ran into quite a few vehicles on the way here. And at the beginning of the road, it did say that they didn't recommend taking travel trailers down this road, but we do have an off-road travel trailer, this Rover with a high clearance. So uh, we tried it and we, we made it down just fine. We made it through the night undisturbed. And we're getting ready to start. 
we get our first feeling of sunshine this morning and man let me tell you it feels good because it is cold it just kills me how hot it gets during the day and how fast the temperature drops when the sun goes down here it is so cold this morning my fingertips hurt they are numb so that sun feels pretty good Well, we made our plan last night in case the sheriff's office came knocking on our camper door in the middle of the night. We were going to get in the camper and drive the 10 miles back down this very bumpy gravel road and head on into Zion in the middle of the night. So that was our plan and, and then just forego this trail this morning. So I'm glad that didn't happen. I'm glad that we're able to experience this and hopefully everything's going to be beautiful back here and we get back down that trail road and back onto pavement safely that's the goal so if i had the opportunity to do this over again what i would do differently is i would get to that state line campground earlier in the day to make sure i got one of their eight camping spots because the trip from that campground to the trailhead is exactly 1.5 miles. Very easy to do. So I think that's the key to hiking this trail. Get one of those eight camp spots if you plan on getting up early and doing it. And yesterday, I know this trail was slammed full of people. So it's going to fill up. So we are avoiding the crowds right now. There's a sign right there that takes you to Coyote Buttes North. But we continue straight down this wash. This is pretty already. And we haven't really gone that far. Very pretty. Fred was walking a little ways in front of me and I was busy filming and he hid behind the bushes and when I walked by he jumped out and growled real loud scared me to death he thinks things like that are very funny I don't think they're so funny So I think this is maybe a little slot canyon. <clears throat> or just a narrow passageway. So in case you missed in a previous video, we're doing this big loop through Utah. We're here. Our trip is six weeks long. We're in Utah four weeks. And this hike is between Gooseneck State Park and Zion. So Gooseneck is our, was our last stop. Uh, that should have been our last video. Please be sure you watch that one. Like and subscribe, of course. And then Zion is our next stop, which as soon as we're done with this hike, we're headed there. I think we're about two hours away from Zion here, something like that. And this, this was right in between the two, uh, like I said, Gooseneck and Zion, and in a big loop. We're going to stop at all the national parks and several state parks, and those videos will be upcoming. So you can see Fred turning the corner up there. Definitely looks like we might be entering a slot canyon. Oh, look. Oh my goodness, Fred's down on his hands and knees crawling. What the heck? Okay. Huh. 
Huh. I guess I'm gonna... Okay, so a few little obstacles here. How in the world did this big tree get in here? And then under. Oh, gosh. Uh, 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 That's okay. So prepare to get your pants a little dirty. Someone must be back here. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> we have a little friendly dog. <laughs> Let's go. So we, oh my god. So we were not the first ones in the tunnel. <gasps> look above. Oh my gosh. Fred, did you look above you? Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Did you see up there? Yeah. With the sun coming in? Yeah. <laughs> All I have is my GoPro. I didn't bring the big camera. Dear me. Here, take. Okay. Take Lily, let me get started here. All right. This is like the sketchiest part of this hike. Come on, girl. Let's go. Fred, do you want me to go down first so in case Lily falls, oh, I could I catch her? It. I got her. Just give me some leash. There we go. Yeah. You did it. You did it. You said you could do it, and you did. Now watch me be the one to break her neck. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. This is dog's a little bit bigger. Yeah. Then if he falls, Fred can help catch him. <laughs> that dog probably says, what are you doing? Shh, Lily, Lily, be quiet. Shh, Lily. You're good. Come on. Thank one you. more. One more. One more. To the ground. Are you camping overnight down here? Yeah. I, I, I. Here, baby. Let's go. Come on. We're just hiking down and coming I right back. Not in here. I did last night. I meant up in here. We stayed, we stayed in the parking lot, did you? Yeah, we did. Oh, I, we were so afraid that the sheriff's office was going to come knocking on our door any minute. Well, I guess we were on the side of the road. But... You were on the side of the road? Yeah, well, sure yeah. The yeah, well, we stayed in the parking lot in the back corner. It's kind of one of the sketchier things we've done. that Antelope Canyon slot canyons were like the number one canyons in Utah to hike. But we didn't do that. I didn't think we could take our dogs. It's very crowded. It's a little expensive and just didn't want to do it. Had to make reservations. Didn't want to do it. This one I heard was the number two slot canyon, at least in this area. So it just seemed easier to do for us, except for the little snafu we had last <laughs> night, which was unexpected. Is that the trail? Is there a trail to the <laughs> 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 I can't read that. 
Yes, there is another way to get around that ladder. It's a bypass. That's probably okay. it. Yeah. Right. No doubt. Fred says he prefers the ladder. Me too. I'm so glad we did this. If you come to Utah, you gotta do a slot canyon. Now they say do not do this if there's any rain in the forecast because this fills up with water and can become deadly. But this climate is so dry. It has not rained on us since we've been here. Isn't this beautiful? When it, well, this might be one of the prettier hikes I've ever been on. Okay, so some more slot canyons. And then, when we turn around and go back, we go through them again. And the sun oh, will be at a different angle then. Oh, I'm getting a little tired. Fred's going at a pretty quick pace. We left Lucy in the car. It was too cold for her. We just didn't think she'd enjoy this. Ah! Okay. <laughs> you didn't get me that time. The sun isn't really lighting this one up yet. Probably, oh, this is a lot deeper and much more narrow. There you go, come on. Wait. You got it, you got oh. it. All right, these pants, the rear end on these pants. Oh, look, look up. This is why you don't want to be down here when it rains. Oh, look at that. Okay, get me coming down this Fred, was this worth it? <laughs> this could be the petroglyph panel where we turn around. Oh boy, look at that. I'm pretty sure this is it. And there at the base, I think those are petroglyphs. Colors are spectacular. I'm pretty sure that's the petroglyphs. This is the T. This is the big wall where we turn around. The petroglyphs. Oh, okay. This little, this little guy here. Look at that. Just imagine how old that is. And there's also little knobs. This looks like, I don't know if you can see this, some kind of little trail. This looks like it old one, not sure what that is. It looks like there might be a few more up higher. This definitely looks like a, some kind of trail that's been carved in here. This was something at one time, maybe a little bird.
so. Those are the first petroglyphs I've ever seen. Oh, down at the base. Look here. That's what this guy Jim, the ranger, was talking about. Look at that. Look, this looks like some kind of a snake. Oh, here's another one. Some kind of a animal. Oh, this is pretty awesome. Oh, this is it, right? Yeah. Let's just look down here at the T. Now, I was told that if you go like a mile either way, that I think that there's more slot canyons, but we've seen enough. A lot of people turn around here at this T. And it's easy to see. So we made it to the to the petrocliff wall. And then we're gonna turn around. There goes that hiker and that guy with his dog. And that. Okay. An hour to get here, an hour to get back. Okay. There's your mommy, she needs help. Phew. Come on, Lily. Oh boy. Let's go, baby. Hmm. Oh God. Aren't you glad there's not a lot of people here? Great time to do it. It was worth the stealth camping estate to do this this morning. It was. Let's go, let's go, get them, let's go. Oh. Let's go. Okay. Come on, baby, let's go. There are a few obstacles here, but nothing that you can't really overcome with a little bit of determination. Even if I didn't have Fred with me, I could still do this. It'd be a little bit harder. He's with me, so I rely on him. But if he was not here, I could do this by myself too. I think we're about to get back to that ladder. And this time we go up. You might hit the ground, but I'll catch the dog. Hey, you did it. Piece of cake. <laughs> Okay, I think so. So, I did use the All Trails app. It, you don't really need it for the hike itself, but it was handy when we were driving here, coming down that long road, I could tell where the hike was versus where we were. But the trail is pretty easy to navigate. We decided to let Lily off her leash yeah. 
you know, if you have a dog and you bring it here, which I definitely recommend, let it go off leash if you can, because the two dogs that we've seen on this trail so far this morning, both have been off leash. So I guess it's a great place for your dogs to run. On the screen, you'll see the GPS coordinates that take you right to the trailhead. And as we come back through, you can see the trail is uh, starting to get more crowded. This is a great hike, don't miss it. If you happen to be coming through this way, uh, get your permit ahead of time. There's no Wi-Fi here to do it, so be sure you get your permit printed out before you get here. Definitely recommend this hike. Please be sure to check out my channel. Like and subscribe if you like content like this. Thanks a lot and we'll see you soon. See you in Zion.